Sussex from the uh, Reading Regional. Um, I am today joined by Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Thanks for joining us. That's no problem at all. Very interested in this game. Yes, now I understand you know the person to left fairly well. I've met him once or twice. <laughs> He's alright. <laughs> alright. So uh, this game is uh, Joe, uh, Gabby's boyfriend, um, and fellow uh, Southern Banner, Southern Sud- Ron Bannerman even, uh, versus myself. Uh, we should point out, this isn't actually the top table at this point. The top table didn't want to be on camera because uh, apparently the DC met is horrible. And, yeah, that um, was one well, of the top secret tech, wasn't it? I'm trying it to was. keep that Tyrell tech secret. It was. We came, we came to a deal later on in the cut. Um, <laughs> and uh, the other game would have been Ryan again. And as I wanted to slip my wrist after watching Ryan twice, <laughs> I didn't want to put yeah, the some, Someone else a bit of a spotlight. I mean, Ryan hogs it all. Well, it's also the hour it takes for his game to play. Oh, never forget Blackwater 2016. <laughs> yes, oh, I've, I have now watched those videos. So, uh, what's this? So, Joe is using uh, Greyjoy, uh, which is not normal for him. No, he's gotten recently into Greyjoy after I got into them and he kind of stole them from me. Oh, That's the story I'm going with. <laughs> no, it's relatively new for him. He was a nice watch player. Then he's a Stark, but he's really Greyjoy focused at the minute and he's really having a good lot of luck with them. So, so did he become a Stark player because he wanted to win games? Yeah, <laughs> I, he loved his night's watch, but I think there's only so much you can take. <laughs> there is, there, there absolutely is. So um, I, I'm also using Greyjoy, sort of, and I'm using Lanny Kraken. Um, I also have bitten the Greyjoy bug since this, though, and I've been really enjoying my Greyjoy deck. Yeah, you can't deny they are a lot of fun. It, yeah, um, <laughs> although I've gone for the, uh, I'm probably preempting. I've gone for Winter Laws of the Crossing. Fair enough. Um, yeah, is Joe Lords of the Crossing? I can't even remember. He this is. One. Yeah, okay. And you see that, com- the, the total play there of, disca- of only taking off the top seven cards, just to wind them up. Very smooth move. <laughs> now, um, do you kind of wish I'd probably actually had, uh, edit a little bit of this out, but you know, it's been nice to chat. <laughs> it's probably d- almost double the length of the game, in all fairness. Uh, yeah, I obviously wasn't actually at Reading, I had to give it a sniff, so all these games are new to me. Yeah, well, I say, very good event. Oh, we actually got some cards, so... That's not I'm right. a little bit behind, I think. Yeah, I'm just behind cards. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that won't affect too much. We've got Jamie, two reducers um, of the Greyjoy variety and uh, the Western Fiefdoms against... It's not, uh, sorry? it's not quite the dream of Tywin reducer thing, but yeah, it's not bad. Not, not bad. Um, yeah, Joe, I'd definitely take it. Joe has got all the locations, though. With a, yeah, a housemaster, which you're not really going to be too fast until it gets marched. I, no, I almost I did think about it, but I did think well, there, was, there was a little point. Oh, I did do it. Okay, I don't remember doing that. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, not really worth it in that situation. I think he probably did that on purpose to try and almost get the mark out of the way. Um, also, they see that I've uh, put, he's drawn calm, and for some reason I put the um, the clip military claim on my one. <laughs> well, that's not quite how it works, but whatever floats your boat. <laughs> His boats at this point. I'm trying to remember I had in hand. I think I didn't have a very good uh, starting hand, as in I didn't have any big characters. So that's what probably why I didn't. Um, I didn't, I just went for the march instead. Getting more of those reducers out. Uh, Say so, that's not too bad. The Hounds, Kings Road, Iron Mines. In case he gets the, oh, he's got the sea stage, yeah. Yeah. Big on those kill events and on kill tech in general. So we have a Rose Road, another boat with the uh, scout ship this time. No characters yet though. No, has he has he got all the boats? Has he got the Kraken? Uh, is that a yeah. long ship? Um, yeah. One of each. Ah, oh, that's always fun. 
it's the um, and I think that long chip really comes into this because having just having one long chip it means you always have to defend with two characters even if you want to chump block yeah it's just that we see same chair is always a bit of a nightmare but then he does have to go first all the time that is true um so, you finally see a character, the drow, uh, Priest of the Drowned God. I would say for a rush deck, Joe definitely takes his time and thinks about his hand. Ah, uh, he thinks about everything. It's the same every game we play. They're not the quickest in the world if he thinks he can win. So, uh, we've also got the Maester Windermere. Uh, Jamie does a military unopposed, which you'd expect. No claim there, unfortunately. But it's kind of what you do in the start. You would not avoid that move, would you? No, it's two free power. Yeah. I'm not thinking straight. Just uh, entry. <laughs> and after putting the uh, what's it? After putting the the claim on my own uh, plot, I then decided to put power on my plot. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, interesting start. <laughs> so he's let that go unopposed. Yep. Yeah, yeah. First one. Yeah, the military. Unit, he's let all of them go unopposed. Yeah, that so. sounds about right. Now, this is the bit that throws me a little bit here, if I'm honest, although I couldn't do much this turn, um, and this is where the game kind of swings a little bit. Um, he triggers Great Kraken for power every turn. See, every turn. I agree with him on that, and we are, we've both discussed it, and we're baffled why people take cards. No, I completely agree as well, um, but yeah, I'm used to people just taking cards, so I didn't, for next turn in particular, I didn't oppose much because people always draw people always draw cards. <laughs> it's it it has thrown a lot of people I've played against. Cause like, how have you got so much power? It's two power each time. It's amazing. But usually I've got everything I want out with Great Joy, so I'm not too bothered about drawing cards. It does depend what deck I think you're up, you're up against, and I can understand the logic yeah. of you win unopposed, right? Quickly draw. Do I get put to the sword or something? If you're running that. But. Yeah, uh, it definitely has advantages to take card, and I think Richard Walker was saying that if you're behind, you probably want the cards, but otherwise, take the power, run with it. I mean, what, is he on five power? Uh, yes, he's on five power to my four. Yeah, that's not a bad first turn for both of them, really. No. Um, so Joe's got calling the banners, and I think... Oh, I've done counting coppers. So yeah, I obviously did not have a very good starting hand. At least you have the king's road out to help, yeah, and, and a lot of reducers. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason I, I looked at it and thought, yeah, even if I drop Tywin this, if I get Tywin this turn, I could actually put him out. Yeah, which is not bad on a counting coppers turn, no. as potential at least. You always hope and he, you, oh, sorry. So he's got a lot of gold, basically. Yes, but you always do kind of hope that on a counting coppers turn, you end up uh, going into, um, you end up getting trading on the other side. Yeah, that's the dream. So she, if you're playing Martel, long plan into counting. They've played trading. You've got all the gold. It's wonderful. <laughs> so Joe's having a bit of a fit. I'm pretty sure Joe's going first. I don't think he would have made me go first. No, I imagine he does look. I mean, you would go first if you got raiding long ships out. Um, I would say the first part, the first player taken I have, which is now on the bottom right, which I never remember to use. Uh, just in case <laughs> should be yeah, this. I think we've got one of those as well, and I don't know where it is. But it's somewhere. It looks pretty. Yeah, uh, it's prettier than the ones from Nationals that I think they're giving out. Yeah. Yeah, not looking forward to that. Not that I'd win it, but. <laughs> You never know. Oh, you right, know. so that's Asher. And and, and the uh, Salty Navigator. Yeah. Asher's a brilliant card. You can't really go wrong with her if you can pull her off. So it, she's just standing constantly. We've got the Mountain there on a Counting Coppers turn. And I, the Lord's Port ship right to nil the Raiding Longship. That's not bad at all. No. You could have a mountain on the counting coppers turn. It's the dream. It's not quite. It's not quite a Tywin, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> now, now this is also where I'm. I'm also trying at crossing because you know crossing's fun. Uh, 
this is where this first challenge though, especially he's lucky I haven't got Tyrion, but I actually I was playing the game a lot against Tyrion with crossing. And you really don't do it first, but you also don't really don't do the intrigue last. Yeah. <laughs> don't really want to do an intrigue if Tyrion's out sadly, but But you have to well you don't have to, but you kinda yeah. want to. Yeah, definitely. So intrigue of two? Unopposed, and he's going to take another power. <laughs> yeah, I really should have blocked that. I did. I didn't want to block with Jamie because I wanted. To, I was getting greedy. I wanted to keep the renown on him. Yeah, that's the thing with Jamie. He's brilliant, but you don't want to defend with him if you're going second because you want him there to just do that military. You throw him in with the mountain, and it's brilliant, but. Uh, what can you do sometimes? I know that was a mistake there, so uh, the Widow's Whale came up in my hand for an entry claim. Reach put that on a character. Did you have any gold left? No, you didn't this time, did you? This, I didn't this turn, but I think I'd rather, maybe rather than doing the Lord's Port shit right, I could have put it on Jamie, and then he can't be um, knelt out with long ships. Yeah, no, that is a good point. But we all make mistakes, we don't think these things through at the time. No. no. Was the stealthed power? Yep, stealth power, stealth so, past the mountain. Nothing I can do about that one. Unopposed with a great kraken, I'm guessing. Yeah, so he's up to nine power now. I think this is when I start realising I need to start opposing these. Yeah. He's going in with the military. Power, I'm just trying to work out Langley gets 11 power is worth it. <laughs> so just doing the maths in my head there, just trying to work <laughs> out if we can block the military. And I did actually pose with Jamie on that one. Why didn't I pose earlier with Jamie? <laughs> How much was he uh, doing it for? I'm um, surprised you didn't go with mountain. Oh, you sell the mountain. Oh, right, of course. So getting lots of things. So he's going to put to the sword someone. Uh, which I block with the iron mines. And then, um, so yeah, so that was, it was a strength 10. Military. Okay. Let's see if he would have got the extra um, crossing bonus off of that. Could have yeah. more power. <laughs> so uh, the mountain comes in with a big military, unopposed. And we've got pillage. And this Euron. That's not bad at all. That's a lucky pick. It's one of those things though, it didn't affect the board then though, so in some respects no. yes it was good, but at the same time you haven't, been against, yeah, you haven't been against him playing Euron with Seal of the Hand though, he's a nightmare. <laughs> I can see that, yeah. I did have a fun the other night though, getting Euron out with, with Pike. That's always nice. It's a fun combo. Uh, yeah. When I was playing my terrible Renly decks, he managed to steal High Guardian and the Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> Which was nice. <laughs> Who's playing Tyrell? So, I think the best time I did that was I stole the wall and just stood there with oh all my, my Greyjoy stealth going, come on, Night's Watch, come and take it. Oh, I won't attack. <laughs> it's so cruel to do that, but you can't not. <laughs> so, yeah, so at this point, I'm kind of thinking I need to try and stop this off power again this turn, uh, otherwise, it's all going to yeah. rush ahead. Um, yeah, you can rush if you're not careful at this point. It's got two stealth characters. So and a noble cause is not a good sign with Greyjoy. No. So he's got I noble... think I know what might be coming. Yeah. I've got Balon. Um, do I let him go first? No. I don't know why I'm needing the. I'm making a mistake there. I don't know why I'm needing the raiding long ship because it works if you go first. That's a mistake. <laughs> oh well. That's what playing six games does to you. Yeah, it's always hard to remember that. That fact throws a lot of people off. Well, there's Tywin. Yeah, we've got Tywin out, so. Uh, and my own Asher. 
Okay, so that's going to help you against a bit of the stealth as well in your own stealth character. It's always a nice addition. Probably, if anything, I might prefer to see her on setup. But yeah. I think that would have been better for me, but. Yeah, I don't know why I knelt the reading longship there. That was a big mistake, but oh well. Live and learn. Was there a better option? I suppose the Iron Fleet Scout? Probably, but if he gets Euron out, uh, not Euron, if he gets Balon out now, which I'm gonna say sneaky thing, that might happen. Um, see, that's the thing, I could have waited there and stopped the, um, yeah. stopped the King's Road. Yeah, that's always a nightmare when that happens. So we've got a Duke's Balon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone's favourite sight in the game, a duped character. Balon is always an incredible character. I think the new version of him coming out can't compete. No. Oh, Sirio, wonderful. So everything can now have stealth, because the only character that doesn't have stealth, Siri can give stealth to. Oh yeah, because of course he's got the great cracker now, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, I see where things are going now. Yeah. <laughs> Sirio <laughs> um, Farrell is a, still one of the best neutral character cards out there. He's one of the most on my deck because I love him. I do wonder if he might, Greyjoy might be using him a little less now because of. Um, yeah. So yeah, just yeah, try. Got to, just try stealth in there with Asher, which was really stupid because everything's got stealth. <laughs> So I think I'd try to go in for a massive military just so he tries to try and kneel out to stop a foot to the sword. Oh yeah, he's got that sneaky gold left. Oh, I also have sneaky gold left, so I'm pretty sure I'm... I can't remember going in hand, but I'm definitely representing a foot to the sword. Yeah. Sometimes the threat is enough to make someone defend mm. for more than they'd want to. That's my favourite tactic, especially playing Targaryen. Leave one goal aside, let them think you've got Jakaras. Yes. <laughs> Always works. Except when you get the guy who goes effort and uh, then it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I suppose fortune favours the brave and all that, unfortunately. So, I decided to go for 15 military because I, I think again I was trying to leave Asher back for the uh, defence because she obviously she got yeah. stealth. I'm, I'm the same thing, I think he's won this turn, which. Um, I'd also say uh, at this point, also Joe's only 3 and 2, and his chance of making the cut were quite slim, whereas I was 5 and 4 and. Four and one. Yeah, he got paired up, you got paired down, didn't yeah. you? Oh, he's a terrible person. If yeah, it'd be nice and just could have just, you know, let me roll over. Just rolled over for me, you know. Mm. Hey, hey, he's a horrible person. That he is. <laughs> but so he did really want that start playmat. <laughs> That is very true. I have been hearing about that non-stop for all the tournament season. Okay, That's all, very important to him. In all fairness, I really wanted it as well. Um. It is amazing. It's an amazing, amazing piece of art. But yeah, I think, I think now he nice. won't put it down. No, he won't put it down. Um, I think it's nicer than the um, Nationals one. Who's the Nationals one? The Iron Throne. Oh, the Iron Throne. Yeah, I don't really like that one. Not too fast. It's all right, I but. It's not, you know, Rob Stark. It's like Ned Stark. Good. Yeah, I mean, I even think the store champion was a bit nicer. I love that one. Yes, that's a really nice one. So, sorry, Dicky guys, just trying to kill time while Jay makes up his mind what to do. It is quite an important turn <laughs> in his defence. Okay, I'll be interested because I've tweaked this check quite a bit since uh, since uh, re reading. So, I'll be interested to see how, how this actually would fare now. No, I know he's made tweets to his deck as well. He's changed it to a banner deck, and it is not fun to play against. So, he defends for 11, stopping the foot to the sword. 
takes the burn men is clear? Yeah, it probably does make sense. And nothing on pillage. Okay, so I think I might pass here just to stop the whole. So he has to. I mean, he's lost his entry icon now, so he can't actually pull off a log. But, but, but no, but he, if he does. Hmm? If he does, he can stealth through Balon, uh, not Balon, uh, through Tywin with um, the power. Yeah. And then um, Balon can stealth through Tywin, and and he probably hasn't got a way of him up in the strength, so Jamie can defend the military. So I think, if I m remember correctly. This basically comes down to who goes first next plot, and I made a mistake in my plot choices. Oh, I've had many a game like that. Yeah, it's it's hard when a game comes down literally to just, okay, I'm going first, I've won. Yeah. So, um, That's just how it happens. I want to say, because Joe is winning by... So it's Joe's on 11, I'm yeah. on... Oh no, I'm on 11 as well, actually. So no, my plan would not So what I probably should have done here, which I don't do, is Joe's about to play Wildfire. Spoiler alert, people. Um, <laughs> and I should have also played my Wildfire, and then it would have come down to a coin flip who goes first. Yeah, might have given you a slight chance. Yeah, no, I play first. Yeah, because I play first snow. Um, thinking, whereas, I should, whereas also having lost my march. Um, yeah. Whereas I could have played march, gone first. And, yeah, um, I think marching that one house maester at the start was a little bit of a mistake, just because yeah. I don't think he cared at the yeah, end of the day. And basically, I, I took a two two uh, two cost character for one it would have been for a one cost character. Whereas if I if I'm left the march now, I'd have gone first at this point. Yeah. And with the amount of renown I had, and you see there, I had to take Ty. I, I took Tywin off because I think I don't want to lose the power, and also because he couldn't yeah. defend from stealth. Yeah, you need the Asher out at this point, unfortunately. It's, yeah. Oh, it's a rare moment to see Tywin taken as a wildfire flame. And it's probably the right choice. Um, yeah. Whereas I'd gone first, I would, I would have done a massive military. Probably kept Tywin out at that point and just gone massive military. That's free renowned. Um, maybe some other bits and pieces. And I think I could have won it, but yeah, it happens. <laughs> yeah, if you went first, you wouldn't have needed Asher's stealth because they all had stealth, so. Yeah. You would have been absolutely fine to get rid of her and just gone for it, but I'm just, I'm these just, things happen. So I'm being nice there to Joe, he put the sort of navigator out and I pointed out it did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that many a time. But yeah, at this point, I know I've got the hound in hand, but I'm, I'm did, I think I did the maths and went Joe's won. Killing bloody Tywin was the right choice. Freaking bonkers. So I think so. So I'm trying to remember how he does because obviously he hasn't got the intrigue icon, which I so I thought initially I think I thought he couldn't do it for a turn. Yeah. So he's doing a power challenge of six. Uh, about to be six. Okay. That would have to be unopposed, obviously. Um. Yeah, because this thing is, I bring in, because I bring even I bring in the hound at this point, he just gets booted out the combat by the long ship. Yeah. Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the renowned unopposed power and great kraken and just yeah. and claim it. Builds up very fast, unfortunately. It certainly does. So there we go. Um, unfortunately for Joe, he ended up finishing ninth and just missed out the cut by one place. But he did get a play mat from Wama, who kindly passed it down. Yes. I'm still very happy about that. And Orion very kindly gave me a playmat too. So we we all won really in the end. <laughs> Aww.
and I just I steal Joe's when I want it, so it's all good. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, Gabby. No problem at all. I say next up, guys, we have the top eight, which is Miguel versus uh, Matthew, I believe, uh, who uh, was at his first ever tournament. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.